to this service of praise and thanksgiving today being the last Sunday of the year 2021 I know the Lord has done many things for all of us so we need to praise him but the Bible says if we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves and that the truth is not in us so shall we go on our knees confess our sins anything that would disturb our blessing even as we have come this morning let's ask the Lord to forgive us so that our praises can be acceptable in his sight the Bible says if I have iniquity in my heart he says the Lord will not hear me let's pray that the Lord in his power will remove all sinfulness from our hearts and will make us pure even as we sing, as we rejoice in His presence, even at this service. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Shall we all rise as we sing and dance and rejoice on this day of the year 2021? Shall we sing praises to the Lord? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. It is a wonderful thing to see the last Sunday in the year 2021. I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. I will never be ungrateful. I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Say you never be ungrateful to you, Lord. I will never, I will never, I will never, I will never be ungrateful. We are to to you, Lord. We give glory to the Lord. He raised your hands. We give glory to the Lord. He raised. He raised. He raised. We give glory to the Lord. He raised. Hallelujah. Bye. 
psalmist says, This is the day that the Lord has made. If you rejoice, I'll be glad in it. Don't just give thanks to the Lord for His mercy upon our life as an individual, as a church, for the goodness of God upon our lives. Same psalmist says, Oh, that men will praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works. To the children of man, let's give thanks to Him for His faithfulness in sustaining us from the beginning of this year. This is the last Sunday in the, in the year 2021. It is not by making. Can I just say, Lord, I thank you. That song writer says, I just want to thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, for your kindness. I just want to thank you. Look at your life. Look at your home. Bless the name of the Lord for your help. Many have died. Many are hospitalized. Many are at the mark. That is never your portion. Can I just say, Lord, I thank you for being alive today. Lord, I thank you. For being hale and hearty, I give thanks to you. Thank God for his goodness in your house, in your home. Say, Lord, I thank you for my home. Thank God for your spouse. Thank God for what he has been doing, for what he has done. Give thanks to him. Sing from your heart to the Lord. Say, Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I give you glory. To see this last Sunday, it is not about making. Just give thanks to him. For the grace of salvation, give thanks to him. To still be in Christ till this moment, can you just give thanks to Him? Sing from your heart to the name of the Lord. Say, Lord, I bless you. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, we celebrate you. Over all your children, those that are near and those that are at diaspora. Give thanks to the Lord for their life. Because they don't bring them as they come to your house. Give thanks to the Lord. For progress you have recorded this year. Some of you, you are, you are promoted in your place of work. Those that are students, they, they, they enjoy promotions. Some that are, you know, in, in, in the ministerial level, preferment and the likes. Give thanks, I said, Lord, for going forward. For the forward experience we've had in one area or the other. Give thanks to the Lord. Say thank you to Him. Give thanks to the Lord. Sing to Him. Lord, we worship You. Lord, we give You thanks. Lord, we celebrate You. Hallelujah to Your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Our lesson is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 1. St. John's Gospel, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness. And darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bare witness of him and cried, saying, This was he of whom I speak. 
He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. This is the word of the Lord. Sunday of the year we have reason to appreciate God can we just close your eyes as we sing this song thank you thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord for everything appreciate you for your mercy for your love we thank you for your grace your love your mercy we thank you for your protection since the beginning of this year lord accept our thanks in jesus name lord as we go into your world pray father that you minister to our hearts in the name of jesus christ thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we we'll pray Please be seated. I want to thank God for today, for His grace and His love. And also, I want to appreciate my Lord Bishop for the opportunity to stand before the people of God. It is my prayer that the Lord will continue to renew your strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, today we are looking at this topic. Jesus, the incarnated word. Jesus, the incarnated word. And the text is taken from Gospel according to St. John, chapter 1. Start to read from verse 2. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. The word, W-O-R-D, was a term used by theologians and philosophers, both Jews and Greeks, in many different ways. In Hebrew scripture, the world was an agent of creation. Psalm 33 verse 6. By the word of the Lord, 
the heavens were made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. The source of God's message to his people through the prophets. Hosea chapter 1 verse 2. And God's law is standard of holiness. That's Psalm 119 verse 11. In Greek philosophy, the word was the principle of reason that governed the world. Or the thought still in the mind. Why in Hebrew thought, the word was another expression for God. John's description shows clearly that he was talking about Jesus, a human being. He knew and loved. But at the same time, the creator of the universe, the ultimate revelation of God, the living picture of God's holiness, the one in whom all things consist. As much as we all love seeing the nativity of nativity scene at Christmas time, the point of Christmas is that God needed to make a way to restore the relationship with sinful man and holy God. The only way was a pure sacrifice for the sins of humanity. Look into the Gospel of John, chapter 1. We see the world was with God at the beginning. And the world was God. This world was the light for humanity. Our hope was not in a behavior or practice. It was in a person, Jesus Christ. This second person of the Trinity became flesh which was not alone before or after. It was not a temporary event with a temporary effect. God was providing a divine change and his creation will understand who God is. The God-man union. How does a supernatural God fit in in a human body? We see the Apostle Paul explain this in Philippians chapter 2 when he states who be in very nature of God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage rather he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death even dead on the cross. Jesus, in no way, became less than God. He maintained his deity. However, he became no greater than man. He was truly one of us. He had the same needs, emotions, and feelings we do. The incarnation was a bonding of heaven and humanity, together in such a way that through this cosmic connection, there will be hope for a restored relationship with the perfect God for broken, sinful humanity. Our incarnation connection. God came to heart, became man, and died on the cross. What does that mean? The incarnation shows that God truly really loved us enough to make a way for us through Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only one and only son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John chapter 3 verse 16. The incarnation shows that Jesus understands our hearts, our struggles and our temptations. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses. But we have one who has been tempted in every way just as we are. Yet, he did not sin. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15. Beloved, Christmas is a day to reflect on the most momentous day in all history. When God intervened in history and became a human being. John's perspective of this event is not to talk about shepherds and angels, but to present Jesus as the glorious light of the world. The central theme of John the Apostle was to prove that Jesus really was God incarnate, the promised Messiah and the Son 
savior of the world john expected that having known the fact about the divine origin of jesus his hearers will receive him unfortunately today many are in the in our churches who are yet to accept jesus into their lives they may even occupy important offices in the church as a result we have illegitimate sons and daughters of god parading themselves as god's children are you one of them if jesus is not in your life you need to invite him to your life jesus is the light of the world without jesus in your life you are in darkness jesus is the way the truth and the life he is the, he is the only way to the father no one can come to the father except through jesus christ john chapter 8 verse 32 and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free jesus himself is the truth that set us free he is the source of the truth the perfect standard of what is right he frees us from the consequences of sin from self-deception and from deception by satan he shows us clearly the way to everlasting life with god thus jesus does not give us freedom to do what we want but freedom to follow god as we seek to serve god jesus perfect truth free us to be all that god made us to be brethren as we are moving nearer to the end of this year have you accepted him into your life or you are still planning tomorrow may be too late today the day of your salvation but as many as receive him to them he gave the right power privilege to become children of god to those who believe in his name let us pray father we thank you for your word we pray father that you touch our hearts with this message after hearing this message lord will pray we will not remain the same oh lord this word will work and perfect our lives in the name of jesus christ thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we we'll pray going to reaffirm our faith in the works of the Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and heart, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dealt, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. And he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the restoration of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. 
Lord have mercy upon us, the Lord's prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. O Lord, guide and defend our rulers. And deal your ministers with righteousness. O Lord, save your people. Give peace in our time, O Lord. O God, make clean her heart within us. The collect for the weak and other prayers. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you are giving us your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him and to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that we who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit through our Lord Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the same Spirit, one God, now and forevermore. Amen. Almighty God, the author of peace and lover of concord, the knowledge of whom stands our internal life, whose service is perfect freedom, Defend us, your humble servant, in all our sorts of our enemies, that we surely trusting in your defense may not fear the power of any adversary through the mind of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power. And grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governors to do always what is righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. People of God, in continuation of our prayer, let us appreciate God once again for what God has done for us as a nation, as a church, as a family and as individual. Looking back from the first Sunday in the year 2021 to the last Sunday in the year 2021, it has been wonderful, it has been glorious because the Lord has been our strength in all ramifications. Bless God over your family. Bless God over your children. Thank God over all the Lord has enabled you to achieve. And let's thank God for this nation on behalf of our president and everyone the Lord has put in the position of authority. Let's pray for this nation that the Lord will reign as we close this year. The kingdom of the Lord will be eminent in every aspect. Pray for the president, Muhammad that the Lord will continue to strengthen him and as we are looking forward for a better year, that the Lord will give him direction in every aspect. Let's pray for our states as we use our governor as a link, Dapok, that a good state will be for the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, let's pray for the church of God as we pray for our primate Henry that the Lord will give him a new vision for the church as we cross over into the year 2022 let's pray for this province province of Lagos as we use Humphrey as a link to all our fathers in the province of Lagos that this province will know the peace of the Lord and let's pray for our Dowsies, Dowsies of Ijebu Southwest, 
as we use our Bishop Baba today as a link to the entire diocese. Pray for as many that the Lord has been using to bless this diocese, that the Lord will continue to prosper them. Let's remember all our children in diaspora that the blessing of the Lord will remain with them. Lord, in your mercy, let's cancel every evil agenda as we close this year as a family and as individual. Pray that no weapon forms against you shall prosper. Every plan of the wicked one as we are, as we are about to close this year over your family and your children will not stand. Pray for divine visitation of God as this year is going to an end that the Lord will visit you with his joy, with his blessing, with his favor. I don't know your heart desire. Talk to the Lord. As Mary was visited, that you shall be visited. Let's pray that every unwanted luggages in your life and household shall be deleted as we complete this year. Pray that everything that your heart has not desired will not cross over into the year 2022 with you. It may be sickness, it may be setback, I don't know your own, but talk to the Lord. Use today that we are celebrating the last Sunday in the year to make a covenant with the Lord that unwanted luggages will not be part of your journey into the year 2022. Pray that the Lord will take you to the next level of your life. As we cross over into year 2022, we are going to a next level. Pray that spiritually, financially, physically, the Lord will also take you to a next level. Finally, pray that this incoming year will bring blessing, joy, favor, glory into your life and your family. Brethren, I don't know your heart's desire. Can you please talk to the Lord? Lord, in your mercy, Almighty God, you have given us grace to bring before you with one accord our common supplication. And you promise that when two or three are gathered together in your name, you will grant their request to fulfill our whole Lord the desire and petition of your servant, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the world to come, the fullness of eternal life. As a family of God, let's say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. offerings which we make gathered from among your gifts to us and may what you grant us to celebrate devotedly here below gain for us the price of eternal redemption bless the giver minister to those who have known and Lord in all things open the windows of heaven upon our work so that our labors will not be in vain as many as are in covenant with you as we cross over, Lord, you will rain blessings upon them in the name of Jesus. And in all things, as we continue to give to you, our life shall continue to be a blessing. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Please worship the Lord with these songs. 
For what the Lord has done, I will sing hallelujah. For what the Lord is doing, I will sing hallelujah. For the, the Lord we do, I will sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah unto the Lord. For what the Lord has done. Just begin to bless the Lord for seeing the last Sunday. I will sing hallelujah. For what the Lord is doing. For what the Lord we do. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Oh, to you to pray as we close this service appreciate God again for bringing you to the end of year 2021 Jesus offers us peace at this season I want you to spend a few minutes every day imagining yourself rejoicing like the shepherd Adoring the newborn Christ. And as you gaze upon the Lord Jesus, ask Him to give you His peace as you go into year 2022. Ask Him to give you peace in every difficult relationship. Ask Him to give you peace in all your endeavors this new week. And as we cross over to year 2020, ask Him. To visit you with his peace. And as we close, let's pray for people who particularly need the peace of God right now. Countries where there are troubles. Let's remember our people in San Farah State, our people in the northern part, families that have no peace, families that are sorrowful at this time. Pray for those whose intentions are not met. Pray for those who are experiencing chaos. That the Lord will speak peace to their situation. I want you to pray for the peace of God. Even as you go into year 2022. Year 2022 is our year of divine turnaround. Psalm 21, 26 shall come alive in your life as we enter that year the Lord will turn your sorrow to joy as we enter that year your mouth shall be filled with laughter you will sing praises all your days in the year 2022 it will bring back all that you have lost and as you sow in tears you will reap with joy. And that will be your portion and my portion. Even as we go into the new year. Thank you Heavenly Father for answering our prayers. We give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you thanksgiving. In Jesus mighty name we are prayed. May the blessings of God Almighty the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Second Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, is a new creature, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Christ in you, Christ in me, Christ in us. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you. Please enjoy your week. And we say Happy New Year to you. God bless you.
for listening to this message. We believe you have been blessed by the words of prophecy of this message. You can send your offering and sites to your local church accounts in the diocese. May God bless and increase you greatly in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.